pure economics. It's really about emotions. People are bound to benefit. We are 99% ocean and only 1% land. Vice President of the Republic of Seychelles, Attorney General, Ministers, it's a great honor and privilege for me today to sign the regulations for the Marine Special Plan Phase 1 into law. With the signature and gazetting of the legal instruments, an area of 74,400 square kilometers around Aldabra groups of islands and 136,000 square kilometers from the Admirals to the Fortune Bank will now be declared as protected areas under the National Park and Nature Conservancy Act. It took four years to put this together, uh, but what happened was, is over that time period, the Seychelles was a poster child of what you do to come out of a debt crisis. They were running positive budget surpluses, they successfully floated the currency, they re reduced their debt to GDP ratio. The reason you get a discount is the risk factor, how risky it is to uh, hold a debt from a country. And because they became less risky over that time period, we got less of a discount. In a nutshell, um, the Seychelles managed to um, convert um, part of its debt through a debt swap loan agreement facilitated by the Nature Conservancy. And this debt restructuring um, uh, en enabled for a certain um, amount um, to be repaid into a trust fund for um, uh, to fund um, conservation related um, projects um, and activities. The Marine Spatial Plan is trying to balance protection and ecology with the social and the economic use. The idea is to displace as minimum as possible our existing users. On the opposite, we want to help to develop sustainable use of the marine resources. Well, the major threats are, are from, the, uh, from, from people themselves. They do um, uh, create pressure by trying to extract the resources that we have, uh, like fishing, as I mentioned, uh, certain species are targeted. But also, on the other side, we have threats that are beyond our control, like climate, for example, which is having a big impact on the marine environment and which is uh, having a negative impact on certain species like corals. And we have to come in and intervene on those, on those uh, instances. This is the, our living, you know, to catch fish, sell, get our life, you know, if you protect everywhere where we go fishing. But the small seashells, to have big depths like that, the main house, the main economy is tourism, then the second is fishing. And you know, the small seashells, everybody can live as a, a, a small Arab, you know. We don't know how Deb has come and now we fishermen, 
who's going to pay for all these things that has happened, you know? We feel Seychelles has a small population, yes, and we could have world-class reserves of hydrocarbon. And provided this is done properly, and you know, we choose the right companies, and we do a proper environmental impact assessment before we drill, then we feel that the country would definitely benefit from you know, oil and gas resources. We know there are issues with uh, en environmental issues, but uh, we do feel that we can sort of get, get through those and, and using technology, using the, the, the modern understanding in the industry, um, achieve economic growth through our resources. Okay. Well, maybe if there are donations to green energy, anything to go by, there we're not going to do a simultaneous translation of this work. Yeah. 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 So the Seychelles are called a small island state. In reality, they're a large ocean nation. They have a very small land mass, but a huge uh, exclusive economic uh, zone. And the Seychelles is leading the way in terms of how it's going to manage its ocean territory, its seascape, as we call it sometimes, in a sustainable fashion.